students of grade 11. In this lesson, we will discuss paper 1 of the 2019 O-Level English paper. The paper has 8 tests. This paper carries 40 marks and every question carries 5 marks. Let's look at test 1 in your paper. Remember this and all the other tests or questions carry 5 marks each. First question expects you to match a list of notices with the places given below. If you would like to know more on notices, do check out our lesson on notices. Read the question carefully as it states that you need to write the letter of the most suitable notice in the given box. Let's read the notices first. Note that the relevant letters are given below each notice. Handle with care. Reference only. Take off your shoes. Reserved for pregnant mothers. Caution men at work. No bathing. Rough sea. Now let's read the places and match it with the relevant letter. The first one is already done for you. On a box full of glassware. What is written is A. Handle with care. The second one is at a building site. That should be caution, men at work, so it's E. The third is on a beach. This is letter F, no bathing, rough sea. The fourth one is in a bus. That would be the notice, reserved for pregnant mothers. That's D. In a temple is C, take off your shoes. At the sixth place given is in the library, which should be B, reference only. That notice is put up in libraries when you are not supposed to take books away, but only use them for reference. After you write all the letters down, double check to see if they are right. Remember, you get five marks for this. Let's look at test two. Fill in the blanks in the following dialogues. Use the words given in the box. You are once again expected to write the letter of the correct word. And the first one is done for you. Let's read out the words from the box. If you have noticed the words given are in the form of nouns and verbs. When you read the sentence, try to figure out what best suits the sentence. Twin frocks, wedding, tall, think, shirt. Let's now fill in the blanks. Brush me. Wow, uh, what a lovely photograph. Is this your family? Ajani. Yes, it was taken at my sister's wedding. Who do you think is sitting next to me? Brush me. Mm, it must be your twin sister. And you both are wearing frocks, aren't you? Is the boy wearing the red shirt your elder brother? Ajani. No, he is the youngest, but he is very tall. Rashmi. Your father and mother still look very young, don't they? Ajani. Of course. Thank you for the compliment. Now let's look at test 3. Study the picture and fill in the blanks using the words given in the box. Remember, you are supposed to write the letter of the correct word. You get five marks for this, so let's get this right. Look at the words given in the box. Bed, curtains, cupboard, umbrella, friend, table, lamp, drawers, books, trousers, wall. They are all nouns and you can easily see them in the picture given. Let's now fill in the blanks. Remember to look closely at the picture. This picture shows Chatura's room. His friend, Isuru, is sitting near him on his bed. There is a table with three drawers in the room. A pile of books and the lamp he uses to study can also be seen here. The curtains of the window are partly open. In the cupboard, he has hung a shirt and two pairs of trousers. There is a cap 
and an umbrella on the hangers fixed to the wall. There are two pairs of shoes on the shoe rack. One is white and the other is black. Chatra keeps his room neat and tidy. That was easy, wasn't it? You had 10 blanks to fill. That means you will be getting half a mark for each answer. So be very careful and read the sentences closely. Let's now move on to the next question. Test 4. Each underlined word in the following text is incorrect. That means that the words underlined are wrong. You are expected to write the correct word in the space provided. The first one is done for you. Let's do it together. The grade 9 students have planned to play a cricket match yesterday. The correct sentence should be, the grade 9 students had planned to play a cricket match yesterday. Everyone were present in time. That sentence should read that everyone was present on time. However, just before a match, it started raining. To this, the indefinite article a uh, should be replaced with the definite article the. They waited at least of two hours, but the rain did not stop. This sentence has two incorrect words. To begin with, it should be they waited at least for two hours. We always wait for something. The next phrase should be, but the rain did not stop. In order to form negative sentences in the past simple tense, we must use the auxiliary verb did, the past tense of do, together with not before the main verb of the sentence. The main verb, meanwhile, goes back to present simple tense which is the infinitive form of the verb. So, it should be, the rain did not stop. If you want to learn about the simple past tense, you can look at our previous lesson on this. They were very sadly. At the end, they decided to play cricket on the following day. Here, sadly should be replaced by sad. Sad is an adjective and describes how they felt. Sadly, in this instance, is incorrect as it is an adverb. So the sentence should be, they were very sad. If you have any queries about adverbs, especially, and where they should be used, you can watch Lesson 41. The next lesson will be on the second half of paper one. Do subscribe to our channel and watch lessons and paper discussions like the one you just saw. Until next time.